Hello everybody, it is Kevin Ho and I am here at 23rd and Hampshire Street here in the intermission uh, near Potrero and we are here to show you the upper unit of our listing over at 1126 and 1128 Hampshire Street. Now in the distance beyond that truck you see up there is 24th Street. In fact, Dynamo Donuts is literally right around the corner so it's pretty cool. I love this street because you get a mix of single family houses, see how lovely they are, and some multi-unit buildings, including this really handsome one uh, that was, I think a four unit TIC building not too long ago that we sold 1124, 1122, 1120, and 1118. And uh, just in the distance you see uh, 24th Street, like I said, it's always warmer and nicer and pleasant in this area. So here we are, we're over at 1126, 1128 uh, Hampshire Street. It is a two unit building and um, there's potential to do something more behind the garage down here on our, on our left. I just locked it up, but there's about a 12, I think, I think 27 feet, maybe 20, yeah, 27 feet or 20 odd feet back behind this 25 feet area here um, where you've got tall ceiling heights about eight feet and a fully plumbed bathroom area back there but we can show you that uh next time but over here you'll take a note that this is a detached building on three sides and once you get inside you'll see what impact that makes it's a really great one and it adds a lot of light because you'll get light from three sides from the front the back and the side so uh the upper unit gets this garage on the left the lower <coughs> unit gets the garage over here, the 26. I don't know why that person's honking, but let's go up. So you got a nice terrazzo entrance, nice views here, and let's go inside. So the tenants of this unit uh, really decorated their unit pretty uh, strikingly. It's a very cool, chic, mid-century vibe. Um, you'll notice here that they've got the uh, the space heater here and you got the old school sort of floors you've got uh, the oak floors here you got no work and whatnot and you've got 10 foot ceilings it's about 10 foot one inches not to be precise or anything right so let's take a look over here you've got your classic fainting room configuration where you've got this room here uh, again lots of great decoration we're looking over at Potrero we're looking east and then you've got the Nice millwork, and you've got this really big front-facing bedroom. Now, the interesting thing here is that I would say you would probably consider moving some of the, the walls around a little bit too, but here, uh, SF General is over there. You can see, and there are your neighbors again across the street. And over here, you'll see that mirror, and there's a closet there. And they've got a uh, kind of a cool kitschy little uh, wood fireplace that's electric. But like I was saying, and you've got the picture right up there and a really cool medallion up there. Uh, let's see, what I was saying before is, let's say this room, which is, let me turn this on here, 15 foot two inches wide here. If you moved this wall, Sort of where this, um, where this uh, bank is, or uh, curio is or whatnot, move it out this way and give it, give this room three more feet. And this room already is, let's see, seven foot ten. So if you gave it three more feet, you'd have a ten by. Uh, let's see what this is, ten by nine room or ten by eight, pretty close to a standard size room. Now, uh, you've got the closet over here. For this room, look at the, I love the old school doors and whatnot. Uh, the seller here lived here as a kid. Um, now he's an older gentleman now too. And uh, the family lived here and eventually uh, they moved elsewhere and they've had this as a rental property ever since uh, 1970 something is when I think it last sold. So over here, remember we were saying that You've got the wall here, here, but take a look at the quality of light in this room. So this is the where the layout gets a little different. It is the living room, 
but you see tall ceiling again, but you see the quality of light coming in is really nice. Now back over here, and uh, you've got the bathroom. So this is the back side of that closet. Uh, you've got the bathroom here. Again, really stylized and designed. Um, older finishes, of course, uh, but still very functional. Shower, and then you've got your vanity here, a fan, uh, vinyl floors here. And then over here, you've got your second bedroom here. Let's take a look in here. So the downstairs unit is pretty similar in layout. It feels a little brighter. Maybe it has to do with the pink color or, or whatnot, but uh, sometimes the floor units are brighter uh, some, for some reason. Uh, they have a transom window up top. You have a window here. And then here you've got closet again and then you've got door out to this living area here. Uh, the whole span across the way is about 23 feet and change, so it's a pretty standard size for San Francisco. Down here you see part of the backyard, so this comes in. Um, this portion over here is probably newer than the uh, portion we're in now, and that pretty much happened as, um, you know, the over the years with renovations, additions, and whatnot. So back over here, We've got the kitchen and sort of dining area too. Pretty spacious, nice and wide. And over here, you'll see just the quality of lights, really amazing. You'll see the backside of uh, Noe, you see Bernal Hill over there, and you see it's just a really, really cool space. So the ceiling height here in this area is about, I think it's yep, eight foot eight, so a little bit shorter than the other side. And over here, you've got your sink, gas range and uh, exhaust above so one of the nice areas or nice things I love about this area is the backyard beautiful trees great vegetation there lots of lights pretty bright and nice here let's go down and show you a couple more uh, parts of the property let's go down So this is the area I was talking about uh, behind the garage. So here you've got this area here. So right now, it's not designated to anybody. This is 27 feet 10 this way, and uh, so like I said, eight foot tall, uh, and this part here too. You've got a fully plumbed bathroom. We're not gonna go into it because it's kind of, you know, it's old, hasn't been touched in a while. But you've got all the plumbing and whatnot here for a bathroom. You've got the bottom of a, I think a chimney over there, and then you've got just sort of the uh, step down area. So remember, because you have the um, the breezeway, you actually have a perfect scenario or setting for doing an ADU or whatnot, because they would have their own side entrance. And here's the side of the building. It's going up, you've got the redwood siding. And then you see over there, it's pretty cool. You see the, uh, the Victorian across the way. So yeah, this is basically, uh, you know, this space, great little lemon tree here, some salvia, and a nice yard and hammock, whatnot. Location's pretty amazing. You know, setting is great as well. And, um, you know, it's a great opportunity and um, lots of potential and all that good stuff too. So. 1126, 1128 Hampshire Street over here in the intermission. I'm, of course, Kevin Ho, and with my partner, Jonathan McNary, we are uh, listing the property. And uh, for more information, give us a call or visit our website, kevinandjonathan.com. Um, in addition to that, check out our other listings and our other walkthrough tours on YouTube, on our YouTube channel. And uh, until next time, thank you for watching. Stay safe and see you at the next one.